WordPress security is more than just keeping people from cracking passwords. For instance, if people are allowed to post comments that contain HTML, someone can inject a link to a malicious page that can act as a man-in-the-middle attack. A man-in-the-middle attack basically fools your computer into thinking a malicious computer is the server with which you're trying to communicate. Then it passes that data along to the real server after having recorded the information. Hackers can also exploit insecure plugins by modifying URLs and insecure form inputs. This could yield any database info that could be accessed by that plugin. That's why you should pay close attention to the reviews anytime you install a plugin. If it's insecure, chances are someone has discovered that and left a review stating that it's insecure. So let's look at the discussion settings in the dashboard and take another look at some of the settings there. We've seen the settings before, but I want to add some security perspective to some of them now. Allow link notifications from other blogs. Unless you're just very concerned with having comments posted whenever another blog links to one of your articles, I would turn this off. Most of the time, the only pingbacks and trackbacks you get are from spammy scam websites that probably contain some sort of malware. We don't want our readers accidentally clicking on one of those links and getting subjected to ad pop-ups, Trojan horses, or anything else. Now having people comment on posts is useful for traditional blog sites. You need this. You want that interaction with your readers. That keeps them coming back. It's important to moderate those comments though. Moderated comments will be held in a queue before being published on the site. From that queue, you can look at them and determine whether they're spam or not. And if they're not, then you can publish that comment. So never turn off at least one of these options. Whether you choose to always approve comments or allow people who have had a previously approved comment to be automatically published largely depends on whether or not you trust those people who have been previously approved. This is probably best for small to medium sized sites where you have a better idea of the people that read your site. You, you can form relationships with them and pretty much know whether or not you can trust them. On a larger site though, you won't have that kind of small community and you will need to moderate your comments. Yes, it's more work, but it means a safer website in the long run. The blacklist is yet another layer that you can use to combat comment spam and increase security. As spammy comments come into your moderation queue, you'll begin to see certain words that appear often. These are often pharmaceutical drugs, designer brands, things like that. If you can't imagine anyone needing to use words like this on your site, add them to the blacklist. Of course, this can get complicated. What if one of your trusted readers does mention one of these words? They won't be banned, but their comment will be marked as spam immediately. If there's any question, add the word to the moderation list so that you can choose whether or not to disallow or allow the comment. Let's go to the general settings for a moment and look at another step we can take. If you don't want comments at all, you can always just uncheck anyone can register. This will disallow anyone from registering for your site. This is useful if you're using WordPress as a landing page for your business site, for product placement, for anything like that where you don't need that customer interaction. Simply turn off anyone can register and no one can create an account with which to post comments. This includes spam bots and any other malicious agents wishing to post comments on your blog. This is about all we can do in WordPress natively. In our next video, we'll start looking at plugins that can help us keep our site safe.